Hello there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. We're having a look at your May 2023 money and career. Let's see what we've got coming out for you guys. We do start out the month. We're in Taurus season right now. Very much a focus on your money, your resources, your investments, how you make money, where you spend your money. Um, but we do have Mercury in retrograde in that sign. So Mercury retrograde can sometimes bring about second chances, but is more about slowing down, taking a step back, reviewing things, double checking things, not making any rash decisions. Okay. And if you do need to make any very important financial uh, decisions with that energy, just make sure that you get um, some help and advice if you need it and to make sure that you review, review, review any kind of documentation before you sign anything legal. It's really just to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into. We do have a lunar eclipse coming in here for us in the sign of Scorpio on May 5th. And this is a culmination of the eclipse seasons from 2022. And this is where things may be really wrapping up. Check back to October of 2022 to see what you were manifesting at that time and see what has now blossomed in your world or what you can feel kind of shifting for you right now. But lunar eclipses, um, they do bring in a little bit of chaotic energy. All eclipses do. Eclipses do bring in, um, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, shakeups and breakups and, uh, you know, but also new things coming in, but the full moons where we eclipse something out of our lives. So you may find some people can manifest things at the full moons, um, but it depends how you deal with the energy anyway. And with the eclipse kind of being all over the place, sometimes it's best if you're going to set intentions to manifest, do it the day before, the day after, and not necessarily right on the day of the eclipse. We want to make sure that our intentions hit their target and don't bounce all over all, the, all over the place, all right? But it's a great time to make some important decisions, to wrap things up, to let things go, and to look forward to starting something new. We have feeling the world here. Now, this energy as it relates to your money, this is card number 13. So this is an influence of Pluto with the death card there. Changes, big changes. Okay, this is a time to change, to evolve. If you don't like your situation, this is giving you the power to do something about it. Okay, this is an energy and an ability to start new things um, and also to put an end to things that are draining your bank account, draining your energy. Okay, and we're looking forward to doing something better. Okay, so maybe you're taking doing a taking a different approach on things. Maybe you're balancing your budget. Um, if you're in your workplace, this may um, this may bring in the energy of putting in some very healthy boundaries, especially if you work with somebody that is, um, you know, sometimes you know we get that person that just skates under the radar. They do as little as humanly possible just so not to get noticed. They do kind of their work, but they never do anything extra, and um, you know sometimes they don't even do that. So if you're picking up the slack for somebody, you may be putting in some very, very, very firm boundaries at this time. But feeling the world is also a big picture energy, okay? Looking at the possibilities, looking at the potential of things, right? You might be looking at the world around you and seeing that, yes, there's some chaos some places, right? There's uncertainty in the economy. Things have gotten very expensive, right? The banking systems are like up and down and all over the place and all gobbledygook. So with this energy, this is reminding you to be aware of things that are going on in the world around you, especially um, to do with your money, your resources, okay, and your career path. Um, but do what is right for you, right? Live, still live your life from the inside and project it outside, right? Just be a little bit cautious and aware of things that are a little bit unstable or things that are risky, okay? We don't want to really take big some big risks right about now, most likely. You want to retain more of your money, not, you know, not less of it, okay? So have a look at the big picture, have a look at the potential of things, but also be aware of certain things that are around you and, um, you know, try and, you know, keep more of your money um, to yourself. So it's it may be a time when you take your investments out of, say, a risky market, right? Like, I don't, I don't know anything about Bitcoin or anything like that. I don't play the stock market, okay? But if you do have high-risk investments, now might be the time to pay those a little bit more attention and put your money into something a little bit more stable. It might not have the promise to pay you as much, but it might be a little bit safer, 
that way okay but feeling the world is an energy of expansion and growth and and many possibilities so if you're looking to make more money to change your current situation there's a lot of potential out there but you do need to take a step back look at things from a different perspective and look at the big picture to see where an opportunity has the potential to lead you all right we have the royal you as well okay this is a beautiful energy reminding you of your worth and because we're in Taurus season, this is where we do look at our values and we do recognize our worth, right? What we bring to the table, our knowledge, our experience, our skills, our dedication, all of these things, it's time to pay off for you, okay? So this is really about um, believing that you have what it takes to get yourself to where you want to be. This is your ability to change things for the better. Very interesting because the Royal U is card 16, relates back to the Tower card, and you've got 13, which of course relates back to the Death card. Both bring about powerful change, transformation, out with the old, in with the new, whether it's new opportunities, new investments, new purchases, right? We can be doing all of that as well, okay? Or whether it's taking a different approach at things and evolving something in a positive way, whatever it is, the old way kind of of being of doing of thinking is a little bit out the door with that energy so it's a big powerful shift here for you guys so believe in yourself okay trust your intuition trust your instincts if there's things that you don't know trust in your ability to research do your homework okay and um, but I think there's a little bit of magic in the air for you guys and so let's see what else we've got coming in for you thank you very much And we have heart of your reading. We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? We also have here the Nine of Cups that's crossing you. Beautiful. We love the Nine of Cups, your wishes, your goals, your dreams, right? So something is attainable for you right now. We've got the Five of Cups in your crowning position. Hmm, you got to turn things around a little bit, right? You got to look at the possibilities, look at the potential. You might be um, focused a little bit too much on what hasn't happened or what has been lost or what's not worked out for you, okay? And there are, is a chance to turn things around or to find better options and better possibilities, okay? But we do need to make that conscious effort to shift right, to look at the solutions, to look at those answers, right, okay, beneath you, the six of wands, there you go, you got this, baby, all right, coming, oh dear, okay, yep, five of pentacles, okay, this is the energy you're bringing forward from April into May, okay, five pentacles, this is a very difficult energy, but we will get to that, we've got the empress card, isn't that beautiful, Five of Pentacles, lack, losses, um, unexpected bills, not making enough money, finding no opportunities, okay, those kind of things to be replaced by the Empress. All of your needs met, your ability to attract abundance into your life, to start something new, right? Very much a turning around energy for you. We've got the sun coming in here as well. We always like to see the sun shining a wonderful light on your reading. We've got the strength card here for you as well. That's more like it. We've got the Hierophant coming there also. Wow, look at that, heavy hitters. And we've got the Page of Swords there for you as well. So <laughs> bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Who doesn't like to have that? So there are forces at work um, in, your, um, in your money, in your career path here that are a little bit beyond your control. Okay, um, the Wheel of Fortune is a faded energy. It's also one that brings you good karma. It is in the upright. Okay, so when we get the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, that's a good thing. Okay, that is Jupiter influencing you in the best of ways. This is expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune, opportunities, aligning with um, you, okay, you, your ability to attract them into your life. The Wheel of Fortune is a cycle of increase in your life, right? But also some of the wheels that are turning have already been set in motion because this is a faded energy for you. So there's something going on that you either know about already that was just meant to happen. It's part of your journey. It's part of your destiny. It's part of, part of your path, okay? Or there's something that's going to happen that is part of your destiny. It's meant to happen, right? So it's just meant to be. It's written in the stars, right? So this could you be getting back into alignment. This is you. I mean, we've got this, you know, we've got this difficult energy that is going out the door. Yay. Okay, replaced by, whew, 
man, some beautiful energy and very heavy hitting, right? A lot of faded energy here for you. And the thing is, eclipses do bring in a faded energy and especially that solar eclipse that we just had in Aries. So there may have been something that was kickstarted for you then or kickstarted for you back in the fall, okay? Back at the, um, the last uh, solar eclipse that we had uh, end of October. I forget the exact date, okay? So think, think back then, do a little bit of reflection and you may start to see things happen happening and shifting for you now okay but we've got one two three four major arcanas coming out here for you five if you include the wheel of fortune huh five being changes for you okay so some excellent energy but we've got to work through a few things first okay the ten of wands Letting go of responsibility, whoops, letting go of responsibilities and burdens that are not yours this is almost an energy of Maybe an energy of where you're feeling a little bit de uh, defeated or depleted. This may be where um, you are just in a position here where you're just ready to let everything go, right? You, normally the Ten of Wands in the upright is an energy of perseverance, of being stressed, being challenged, but never giving up, putting one foot in front of the other and keeping on going. It's also one where we quite often take the weight of the world on our shoulders. And the Ten of Wands in reverse could be you know, that you're not quite where you want to be yet, okay, and you're like, oh my god, should I just throw in the towel, right, maybe I'm not on the right track, right, so Spirit's encouraging you not to give up in that energy, okay, but this could also be where you are just <sighs> surrender, surrender, I'm letting go, I'm not taking on responsibilities that aren't mine, I'm, you know, letting go of stress and burdens. I'm making a conscious effort here to turn things around for the better. And that is a wonderful place for you to be. You may also be in the position here where you're like, yep, you know what? I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I'm not going to take on more responsibility than I should. Um, and that is a very firm boundary, okay? Um, but whatever your situation is here, I think you're being encouraged. I think you're very much working through some challenging energies. And I think you do have the ability here and the potential to turn things around, to right some wrongs, to get things back in alignment, to get things back in balance, and to get exactly what it is that you wish for, that you hope for, the things that make you happy, okay? But it requires change, of course. And it feels like you're you're pretty much embracing the opportunity for change for something better. The nine of cups, of course, is coming in here and this is crossing you. So I feel like for some of you, it's been a little bit of a waiting game. Okay, you've been waiting for something to happen. There's something in your sights here, perhaps, that um, you've got your eye on. And, um, you know, and it's uh, been a little bit delayed or at least it feels like it, okay? Um, you know, quite often our manifestations they don't just happen overnight typically, right? Because we ultimately attract, attract what we are vibrationally putting out. So the energy that we put out is what is mirrored and reflected back to us. So if we're putting out an energy of lack, five of pentacles, okay, or five of cups, right? Ouch, okay? If we're putting out that energy, we're going to get more of that, okay? And with this 10 of wands here, I feel like it's like, nope, I recognize that and I'm going to let that go because I really want things to improve. I really really want things to manifest in my world and I just want to be happy. I want to feel happy. I want to feel content. I want to feel safe and I want to feel secure in um, in my money, in my home, in my job, right? All of these things and I don't want to worry about things anymore, right? So it's like you're letting go of worries and fears and doubts and all of this and you're trying to make a, a more of an effort to focus on the things that you want to attract in your world and it works right? It's working. So for some of you, there's some good news, really good news coming in here with the nine of cups. And it's just a matter of time. So with that 10 of wands in reverse, yes, let it go. Okay. Surrender to the forces that are working for you, always working for you. Be open to change, be open to new things, be open to a different way, be ready to take action though. Okay. And in the meantime, sit back, right? Focus on you, live your life day by day, 
right? But keep an open mind, keep an open heart. And it's amazing how fast things will change for you when you do that. But beneath you, subconsciously, you are, look at you, you are wanting to move forward. Okay. For one, for some of you, you are feeling confident. You're feeling successful. You are feeling like you've conquered, overcome a lot of challenges. Okay. And even if life throws you a curveball, you are not letting it keep you down. You're ready for um, some recognition and you're ready for some rewards, right? The six of wands is an energy of rising above. It's one of moving forward, but it is one where we are feeling successful and confident and feeling that whatever moves we make are the right ones right now. And also feeling like it's time for us to be rewarded for our hard work, our dedication, our commitment. It's like, show me the money. Okay. So maybe you do, maybe you do know. All right, that there's something shifting for you or that there's something going on. Um, and for others of you, I think you're, you're really feeling like there is this possibility, this potential that is around you, right? It's a really good energy right there, right? It's like anchoring you, okay, with that. But yes, carrying you forward, uh, carrying fr uh, from April into May is the Five of Pentacles. So this could certainly be where you know, the five of pentacles can represent a lack mentality, right? Focusing on the things that you don't have, the things that haven't gone your way, the things that haven't materialized in your world, the opportunities that you haven't found, the bills that you have to pay, all of that kind of stuff, right? And kind of like this five of cups here where you're focused on um, the negative, but there may be something that you do need to deal with right now before you can move forward, right? And, you know, a lot of us have had unexpected bills. Things are more expensive than they used to be, right? The world is, you know, sometimes feels like a scary place. It's also a magical place, but of course that doesn't hit the mainstream media. It's all about the doom and gloom most of the time, right? So you could be trying to make a conscious effort here to shift your energy into focusing on abundance and possibilities and, you know, the things that you want to attract in rather than the things that, um, you know, that haven't gone your way, right? And you might be really making a conscious effort to do things just a little bit differently. But the Five of Pentacles always reminds us here that, yes, sometimes times are tough, but there's always an opportunity to change things around, but we need to look for it. We need to seek out help, guidance, and support, okay? Or we need to look for alternate possibilities, right? See these two people, they're wounded, they're out in the cold, but there is this light in the cathedral and there's five pentacles there. They're up for grabs, right? This is help. This is knowledge. This is opportunity, right? This is a better way of doing things, of turning things around. And all it requires is them to turn around and look at it, okay? So, um... I feel here that the power is within you, right? Especially with the six of wands down there. And you might be recognizing that, right? That you have the power to change. You have the power to do something different in your situation, right? And we do have the strength card coming here and so much positive energy coming in here that it's like you're like grabbing the bull by the horns and you're like, nope. Nope, we're not doing this today, right? We're going to turn things around. We're going to find the uh, find those hidden opportunities and we're going to look at the big picture, right? So um, I feel like you're a big turning point for you guys, okay? But we do have the five of one, uh, sorry, the five of cups in your crowning position. So again, um, there's something here that maybe you are consciously aware of where you are um, processing something, okay? Or maybe you know that there's something that's going to happen, something that's going to shift for you. All right. And so maybe there's some feelings that you're processing right now. You're trying to work through some things. Okay. And then, but there's always a reminder here to turn things around. The three cups that are spilt are only three cups. The two cups are still standing. Sometimes in order to propel ourselves forward, we do need to take a step back. Right. And sometimes it does feel as though we've taken, you know, um, one step forward and two steps back, right? But sometimes we do need to do that to um, realign ourselves to things. And in that, maybe you had three cups in your hand and it's like, woohoo, I was good. I was celebrating. And then boom, everything was just ripped away from me. But there's still two there. And those two cups that are standing are in perfect alignment. They're in balance and harmony for you, right? They are things coming together. So some of you may actually get a second chance because, you know, something hasn't quite worked but maybe something can turn around for you again okay so there might be a second chance at something there may even be something that goes um that that is happening in your world that's already happened or is about to happen okay where 
there are changes in your environment and there's losses. So a company that restructures, right? There might be a bunch of layoffs in the company. And even though they, this comes with some difficult energy and, you know, seeing the seeing people leave that, you know, you liked working with and that kind of thing, and then you're filled with turmoil and uncertainty in that, okay, possibly... There's two things is that a company that undergoes a restructure, right? If it doesn't just close down, um, one that goes under a restructure, sometimes this can be the catalyst that propels you forward to find something better because you probably weren't a hundred percent, um, you know, happy or abundant where you were right now. Um, and this shows that there is an opportunity for you to turn things around and find something better, something more in alignment for yourself, right? It's something that is meant to happen, right? Even though it doesn't feel that way. But sometimes when a company restructures, if you're not one of the ones getting laid off, yes, there's sadness. Yes, there's sadness. Yes, there is loss, right? But there is still this this good opportunity for you. So sometimes when that kind of thing happens, you could actually find yourself in a better position than you were before. Um, so that could possibly happen for some of you there. And it's, uh, you know, kind of part of this energy that we've all got going on layoffs in a lot of places. I think Facebook just laid off like a whole bunch of people or something. Although granted, if you hear some of the ex employees online, it sounds like they're probably overstaffed and didn't do anything anyway. Um, they were kind of overpaid for the little work that they actually did. So when a company lets itself get in that kind of position, they have no choice but to shake things up a little bit. But sometimes you can come out, you can come out on top with that, right? It just depends on your situation. But whatever your situation is here, there is something causing grief and there is a potential to turn things around. And in this, in your crowning position, this is a huge reminder that you're not going to get unstuck or you're not going to shift this energy around unless you make a conscious effort to look at the possibilities, look at the potential and to look at solutions in your life, right? You do need to look at the problem. You do need to look at the obstacle to understand what it is, right? But then you need to turn it around and you need to focus on moving forward from that. Otherwise we get stuck in this vortex and that's not the best place to be. And the wheel of fortune is trying to help you to turn things around. You have goals and wishes and dreams and happiness and all these things at your fingertips, but we do need to turn that energy around into something a little bit better, right? Because there's abundance available for you here as well with the Empress card in your near future. And this brings in opportunities, um, creative endeavors. This is a time of harvest for you to reap the rewards of things that you've already sown. This is a time of new beginnings for you. It's a very fertile energy, okay? So the time is right and the energy is ripe for abundance, for money, um, for getting more resources that you need. Um, this can even be help that's available for you as well, right? Because five of pentacles can be a stubborn energy, right? And it's like, no, I want to do this on my own. I don't need anyone else's help. Really? Sometimes we do. Okay. And so that Empress at uh, that Empress energy can represent that there's somebody who is um, very loving, very warm, very giving, who can help you in some way. So if someone does offer to help, don't turn it down because they can actually um, really, really give you a lot of good assistance in to making your wishes come true. Right. So someone who cares what happens to you. Okay. The Empress card does represent opportunities to do things that you love as well. Okay. To love your job, to love your environment, right? To be happy. Maybe something even um, where, you know, if you are, if you do end up changing companies or anything like that, or if you do end up investing some money, okay, this can be that maybe you're looking to invest or work for somewhere that's a little bit more in touch with the environment, right? Or maybe they give back to the community, right? The Empress is very connected to the earth. Okay, so this could be something where maybe you work for an agriculture company or an environmentally sustainable company, that kind of thing. Okay, and something where you can make money, but you also feel good about what you're doing there as well. Whatever it is, there's a great energy all around with this. Now, this is also an energy of love. 
right? The Empress brings in love. It can bring in expansion and growth in relationships. It can also bring in new love. And we do have the, the Hierophant energy up here as well. Um, and we do have the sun. And so there is an energy here where someone's personal relationship and your plans for the future are impacting your finances, okay? Or are impacting how you make your money, right? So the Empress card is one of love and fertility, right? pregnancy card. We do have the sun, which represents children and can represent family and growth. Um, and then we have the Hierophant card, which can represent marriage. And so I think for some of you here that you might be getting married and starting a family, and you might find here that you need to change um, your workplace situation or that, oh my goodness gracious me, this is going to cost us a fortune. Can we afford to have this family? We need a bigger house and all that kind of thing. And I think here that, you know, that there is this very magical shifting energy for you where it's like all your dreams might be about to come true. You can have it all have your cake and eat it too in this energy, but also a personal relationship. If you are getting married, um, you know, or if you are starting that family, okay, this can really um, change your financial outlook as well, right? And sometimes, yes, it might cost you more money, but also if you're moving in together with someone or if you're getting married, you might have two paychecks are way better than one. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, this burden is lifted, right? And, you know, because two people are paying into everything rather than just the one. And even though that's, you know, certainly not necessarily a reason um, to partner up with somebody or to get married, it can be um, a very wonderful side effect of that, okay? Okay, so you could have that going on in your world there as well. But your current attitude and also advice from spirit is the sun. Maintain that positive outlook, okay? The sun brings you clarity, okay, on things. And so if things have been a little bit uncertain, um, you haven't had the clarity that you need or the focus, the sun brings that in for you. And um, spirit says here to maintain a positive and optimistic attitude. Look at the bright side of things. Find the solutions in things. This is a time of enhanced creativity and energy for you. This is a time of abundance and growth for you as well to do the things that you love, to create the life that you want and to find your bliss. Okay, and so focus on that. We need to shift our energy and look forward, all right? So just like those two fives that are coming out there, fives, obstacles and challenges, but also the ability to um, the ability and opportunity to embrace exciting change. And you have three fives coming out in your reading. The higher fantasy card number five is actually Taurus energy. Your money, your resources can be there. Okay, but also these two fives. So five, five, five. So go look up the um, deeper spiritual meaning of five, five, five. You will find more messages, but basically prepare for big change is really what that is. And it's also bringing you your personal power to create the change that you want to see in your world, right? Sometimes we feel, we feel powerless, but no, the six of wands shows there that you are powerful, okay? And so you have the ability to turn things around no matter what your situation is. And the Wheel of Fortune is here with that Jupiter energy propelling you forward in the best of ways. So get creative, put some energy into something, look at those solutions, right? Find the bright side because both of these two fives, even though they're very difficult energies, they both have the power to change things around for the better. External environment, we've got the strength card here. Now, this is the energy around you, okay, influencing you in your month ahead. So the strength card, the courage to persevere, the courage to change, the personal power, the strength that you need to get through some dark times, to get through some difficult times, and to follow your path and make the best life, make the best out of a situation or um, find the power to find new new things to do and make those improvements in your world, okay? All of this strength, this power lies within you. This brings you confidence, all right? But this also brings an energy of patience, kindness, and compassion as well. So sometimes we're impatient. Sometimes we want everything to happen in the here and now, and that doesn't always work that way because there's things that we're meant to experience, there's steps that we're meant to take along the way, right? Because if we didn't have those experiences, we wouldn't recognize those opportunities when they when we do find them and we wouldn't recognize um, our own ability to turn things around sometimes there's lessons that we need to learn 
along our path, along our journey. So whatever you, wherever, whatever situation you, you are in, believe in the power that's in within you, but also be kind to yourself. Okay. Don't beat yourself up for the things that haven't worked out for you. Don't break, don't beat yourself up for the things that have created um, challenges in your life. Some of them may be because of your actions. Some of them are not. And whatever your situation is, okay, everything happens for a reason. Okay. Even the really, really, really crappy stuff. All right. And it builds our wisdom. It builds our power. It builds our strength. Right. And these are the tools that we take with us going forward. But the strength card in your external environment can also be that there's powerful um, forces at work around you that are bringing you um, some great opportunities. This is also the card of Leo. So you might actually have a Leo person that's around you that can help you or influence you in some way. They may have an opportunity for you. They may have a job for you. They may just give you um, a shoulder to lean on. Okay. Um, as you go, as you go forward, but it could also be somebody that reminds you of exactly your worth and what you bring to the table. Okay, this person may have that opportunity, those opportunities for you as well. And it feels like it would be a very nice um, partnership. All right. So let's get a few more cards there for your external environment. Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Get ready, folks, because this may represent exciting news and exciting opportunities ahead for you. The nine of pentacles, abundance and success, okay? All by your own doing, all by your own making, okay? So some of you here have the have some very interesting information or an opportunity that is presented to you or that you find that does bring about your ability to move forward, okay? And to expand your horizons in the most wonderful of ways with that nine of pentacles, okay? The knight of swords, communication, um, action, okay, in the three of wands, right? This is like, I've got an idea, I've got a plan, and this is really getting prepared and taking action for things, okay? So um, I expect a little bit of movement coming in for you in the very good way, very positive way for you. I also feel here that if there's something that you've wanted, something that you desire, okay, that nine of pentacles is where we dip into our resources a little bit and we treat ourselves. We treat ourselves to something that we really want. Now, for some of you here, maybe you've been saving your pennies, right? The five of pentacles. Maybe you've gone without certain things and certain luxuries um, because you have been putting money away and you have been, um, you know, saving like, like frenzied saving here, right? Like very miserly kind of energy. And it's because there's something that you really want. Now, this can be that you want to move to a new location, or maybe you want to go out and have some fun and go traveling. The three of wands can be one of um, travel of moving somewhere. Okay. Or just moving forward in some respect. All right. So maybe there is a vacation or something that's, that some of you really want and you've gone without those little luxuries so that you can afford to do something fun and exciting for others of you. You've been saving up for something here and you have the, um, you may have the opportunity to make something happen for yourself, um, in the month ahead. Okay. And this can be, um, changing jobs. This might be, you know, that you want to buy yourself a car or a house, or maybe you want to do something that just makes you feel good because the nine of pentacles is where we feel very abundant. Okay. And where we've gotten something that we want. All right. And now we're feeling as though we can kind of loosen the purse strings a little bit to buy ourselves something that we want. But I do think that there is some opportunities, some doors opening for some of you to find those investment opportunities to have something come to fruition for you. Okay. Or to find like that job that would pay you not just what you're worth, but also leave you enough left over to buy yourself those things, those little extras in life that make us feel good, right? Um, you know, instead of buying the no-name brand, you buy like the expensive brand, right? Instead of, you know, eating at, um, you know, McDonald's or Denny's, you go and buy yourself a steak, right? Those kind of things, okay? Um, so those little luxuries in life that they just make us feel like we're we're pretty good. But you've got two of the best nines out here, okay? The two best nines. Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So success, independence, abundance, wishes, dreams, 
all at your fingertips right here, right now. You're certainly headed in the right direction. Prepare for action, and there might be some very important news that comes in for you, okay? Or there's a very important conversation that may be had, right? But it does require taking action upon that, okay? So we do have the Hierophant card coming in here. This is your hopes and fears, all right? And, you know, the thing is here, sometimes we have a fear of change, and sometimes we're just hoping for things to get better, Okay, and so, you know, we can kind of have both there. But with the Hierophant being in the upright, okay, this shows that really you're more hopeful than anything else. Okay, you're like, okay, yes, I'm, I'm going to recenter myself. I'm going to ground my energy. I know things have been a little bit turbulent. I know that things have been a little bit uncertain, but I know that I can turn things around. Okay, I have the wisdom. I've got the knowledge. I've got the strength. Remember the Six of Wands right here, the right giving you that anchor. Okay, and I think here that you know Okay, that there's something that is changing and shifting for you and that you have the power to do that. Okay, because you've got the wisdom and you've got the skill and you don't shy away from hard work or dedication, right? The Hierophant card is one of um, commitment to your journey here as well. But I do also think that some of you marriage or your personal relationships may actually um, play a role in your money um, how much you have, how much you spend, okay, or how much you can make. So for some of you, there's some very wonderful things happening in a personal relationship, and this can actually bring more abundance and happiness into your life, okay, even though there's changes. Um, I think for some of you here as well, there's perhaps been a loss in a relationship here, or maybe there's an imbalance in how you and your person um, spend money or view money, and that can cause a rift in relationships sometimes. So communication really is the key for that, okay? And if you are um, if you are someone that maybe has gone through a loss here, the two fives, okay, loss of a relationship and it impacts your money, that kind of thing, um, I think that there is a big turning point for you here. I think you're going to get a good sense of self and I think that you are going to um, really gain that independence Okay, and be successful independently that maybe you had previously thought um, that you couldn't be or maybe that you didn't quite see because you're not quite ready for it. Remember the Empress, right? The power to create the right new things. We've got the Strength card giving you that strength and then that Nine of Pentacles there, independent energy. I am successful because of me, right? So um, I do think that if there has been some sort of personal loss like that, that this is a turning point for you and you're getting your feet back on the ground, right? In a very positive way, okay? But there is the page of swords here and this is your overall potential outcome for your reading. And so huh, good news may be on the way for you. The pages do bring in some fresh energy. They also bring about um, some news, right? Especially the page of swords, okay? But the page of swords also speaks to technology. So you may find opportunities on the internet somewhere. Um, but the page of swords also does represent or maybe in the tech sector, right? Maybe if you're good with computers or technology, you might have a um, make money that way, whether it's a job in that field or whether you find some opportunities online or something to make some investments, okay? I don't know. But the Page of Swords can certainly represent some good news coming in or some information that you really do need. Um, and you're also your ability to try something new, to try something different. The Page of Swords has an open mind, right? See this Five of Cups, not so open. Page of Swords, bring it on, baby, right? Page of Swords is always open to try new things, to have new experiences, to learn, um, you know, learn about things and very much an open mind uh, kind of energy there and always looking at the future, okay? And um, embracing change rather than um, resisting it, okay? So it can be a very, very wonderful energy that's there for you. So again, some good news coming in for some of you here and let's get some more cards with that. The Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Prepare for some good news with your money, with your job, with something that you want, okay? 
the ace of uh, the ace of swords right here that's the sword of fate of destiny things lining up for you this is the uh the sword of victory and success so maybe some gift some opportunity that is headed your way okay or you're getting the clarity that you need some information that you need so that you can move forward awesome 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 energy epiphanies insights you name it very fresh energy there it requires you to take some action the knight of uh knight of wands is following your passion your goal Goals, doing something exciting or having some very exciting news here that leads you on the path to success that does um, bring in something that woohoo makes your face flush okay but we've got the page of pentacles here as well so something manifesting in your world this is a new job this is a new investment opportunity this is um, improvements in your finances and possibly some really good news about your money okay so big big shifting energy that's in here for you guys. So embrace it. Okay. Um, you know, get out of your own way, right? Process whatever it is here that you need to process, right? Um, you know, we need to honor our feelings. We need to deal with issues at hand, but then we need to turn things around and move forward. Okay. So, uh, let's get your final messages out here for you. No place like home. Yep. So for some of you, your home environment is um, a focus for you, right? Your family, your home, where you live. Some of you might be looking to buy the new house, right? Even though this will impact your finances, right? But it's something that you want, right? So something is shifting in your home environment. Maybe you're moving to a new house, okay? Or and some of you might actually have a home-based business, right? You've got this creative energy with the empress there. Maybe you can make some money at that. All right, but the no place like home energy is also about you feeling like you're in a good place, feeling like you're safe and secure. Um, you're being honest with yourself, you're being truthful with yourself, and you're in a space where you can be true to who you are and be your own authentic self. So when we get this energy, yes, some of you family and things may really be impacting this, where you live, the opportunity to improve or just you know, feel more secure and stable. But for some of you here, this is speaking to your environment, like where you work kind of thing. And you know, this is important to be able to be, to be able to be who you are in your workplace while you make your money if right if you want to speak your truth you want to you know communicate you want to you know you're not afraid of doing hard work but you also don't want to sit there and hide behind a mask and to pre pretend to be something that you're not okay and that doesn't usually work so well and that is by the way another number five <laughs> okay it's a card number 50 <laughs> right? Card number 50, if you can see that. Um, and that reduces down to a five. So you actually have four fives coming out here. So um, hold on to your hat, folks. Okay. So I think that if you are in a situation where you have to pretend to be something that you're not, this may be an opportunity for you to break out of that, right? Because that's not healthy for anyone um, in the long term. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do, right? But we don't want to be in that energy for a long time. But I do think here that there is more stability um, and security coming in for you and the opportunities to find that and to change things around. We have chop wood coming in here as well. Okay. And chop wood is really all about, um, doing things, uh, just taking things day by day, doing the things that you need to do. Okay. Focusing on the little things, right. Rather than a huge big picture thing, right. We do need to have those goals. We do need to have a big perspective. We do need to look at potential of things, and we do need to look at the big picture, but how we get to those goals, how we get to that big picture, sometimes we just got to focus on the little things, right? We've got to sweep the cobwebs out of the corner. We've got to dot the I's and cross the T's on a contract. We've got to look at the fine print on things. We've got to make the little small moves that add up to big moves. Okay, so chop wood is really about doing things, um, doing things day by day, okay, and just doing what you need to do right? So, and sometimes we um, lose sight of, sometimes we're focused so much on the future that we kind of get a little bit lost in the weeds um, in our day-to-day -day stuff. So do things one day at a time, take care of those little details, and you will get to where you want to get to. I'm going to leave that there for you folks, all right? I think there's some exciting things happening, but we've got four or fives in your reading, so have a look at that. Um, look that up and see, actually, you've got more than five fives, <laughs> You have, you have five fives, I think. Do you? You've got one, two, three, 
four or five. Yeah, you have five fives. Um, so yeah, uh, have a look at five fives, um, but it's powerful, powerful, powerful changes ahead for you and your ability to overcome obstacles. Um, so yeah, so awesome. So embrace the change. Um, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great month ahead. And um, if you did enjoy your reading, please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.